Hi everyone, my name is Frank Westfall and in this video I'm going to show you how to share out a printer that is connected via USB onto your network so that other computers can print to it. For this video I have my desktop computer which is called Desktop One with a USB printer that is installed on it. Then I'm also using my laptop, which is on my home network, and I want to be able to print to that printer from my laptop as well. On my laptop, I don't have access to that USB connected printer that's on my desktop. And we're going to change that in this video. And not only will I be able to print to that printer from my laptop, I'll be able to print to that printer from any other computer that's on my home network as well. All right, here we go. We're gonna configure the desktop first and then we're gonna configure the laptop. So, here we are at the desktop. The very first thing we need to do is make sure that network discovery and file and print sharing is turned on. And we do that by going to control panel and then network and sharing center, change advanced sharing settings and we want to click on the private network because we're on a private network now and if you're not sure about that or if it shows that you're on a guest network you can change that by typing in network and then going to network status and viewing the properties of your adapter and you can see that the network profile for this particular network connection is set to private. If yours was set to public, but you're on a home network, you wanna change it to private. So that's set to private, we're good to go there. By default, this will be turned off. You want it on, and you want turn on network discovery. So we've turned on network discovery, we've turned on file and print sharing on the host computer, and I call this the host computer because this is the desktop that has the USB printer attached to it. So we're good to go with that. And now we can go to the actual printer by going to printers and scanners and clicking it and manage and then printer properties and then sharing. Change sharing options and then share this printer. I'm just gonna call it brother for now because it's the only printer. If I had multiple printers connected to this computer, I'd want to put it brother and then the model number. But because it's the only one, it's the only choice. So I'm just going to leave it brother so it's nice and simple. And then this is the default render print jobs on client computers. That's fine. So we'll hit apply to that. And then on security. And I'm actually just going to remove everyone. Except the group everyone and I'm only going to allow them to print to this printer again this is only on a home network you wouldn't want to configure this like this in an office or some sort of setting where you're more concerned about security we're assuming that anyone on this network is already a trusted source and this means we won't have any issues connecting to the printer from any other laptop on the home network we're gonna hit apply there and hit OK. And that's all we need to do on the desktop computer that has the USB printer attached to it. So now I'm going to switch to the laptop. In this case, the laptop is the client computer. And just for the purpose of describing this, because this desktop computer is hosting a printer on it, it would be considered a print server. It is capable of serving other computers the service of printing. So on the laptop or the client computer, we wanna make sure we have file and print sharing and network discovery turned on as well. So we're gonna to go to control panel here and do the same thing we did on the desktop. Network and sharing center, change advanced sharing settings. And we just wanna make sure both of these are checked again I already had these checked, but this one would have been turned off for you if you hadn't configured this already. So make sure 
network discovery is on, file and print sharing is on, and we're good to go. In your case, you want to save the changes. We can close that. And now we just go to printers and add the printer. This searching for printers and scanners sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. I always like to just skip ahead and manually tell it where the printer is. So we're going to do select a shared printer by name. And this means it's being found over the network. And we're using a UNC path to define exactly where that printer is. And the easy way to do it is backslash backslash desktop one, which is the name of the computer that has the printer shared out on it and just browse. And it sees desktop one right away. Double click it. There's the brother printer. And it's just called brother because that's the share name we defined on it. Select. Next. It's installing the drivers on the laptop. And that's done. In this case, I am going to set it as the default printer. And we'll print a test page. I don't know if you can hear, but the printer's firing up right now. It's about to print. There it goes. We have our test page. And the other way you can know that that was successful is by looking at your queue. Your printer queue down here. If you go open devices and printers, and then this is the share, and then double click it and look at the print queue, there's nothing there. That means it's successfully printed. And we're just going to hit finish here. And now, uh, why is there something in the queue here? No, there's nothing in the queue. So well, I'm going to refresh this. I shouldn't say that. Let's just reopen printers and scanners. Yeah, now the queue is cleared. It was just taking a second to refresh that. So now, anytime we're on this computer and we want to print to this, it's going to show up as one of our available printers. This is a network based printer that's on a different computer and we can print to it anytime from this laptop. The one thing that you need to know about this is that the computer that this is hosted on, desktop one, this computer has to be on in order for you to be able to print to that printer when it's connected via USB. Now if this were a true network based printer that was just sitting on a wired or wireless network connection, it wouldn't matter if this computer was on, but because it's connected via USB, this computer has to be on in order for the other computers to be able to see this printer and also to be able to print to it. And I'll just demonstrate with a text document. Just make a text document, test, throw some gibberish in there and print it. And there's our printer. That's our shared network printer. It's been queued up on the printer and there it goes. And I'm just gonna delete this one too. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the like button and Check out some of my other videos. I have a lot of very useful videos up here for installing operating systems like Windows 11 and getting your files back, doing backups, a lot of stuff. Thank you. Bye for now.